Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Hope you guys are really, really well. So welcome to your June 2016 month ahead tarot forecast. So before I start, a few things to say. First thing to say is if you'd like a private reading with me, Leo, please go to www.carolsuniverse.co.uk. Should be going across the screen right now. Uh, also, uh, if you would like to join me on Facebook as a friend, the details should be somewhere along here. I'll also be coming back with your updated uh, live spread reading. I did this is a reading I did in, uh, I think it was, I think it was November last year. I think it's time for a little bit of a refresh update, see what's going on, see what could be coming in up until the rest of the year. This reading will span from June 2016 right up to December 2016. And it focuses on the five areas of your life, love, work, uh, so love, career, personal, um, home, and also future. And we'll see where the direction is heading for you guys, just in general. So if some of this doesn't relate to you guys, don't freak it, because at the end of the day, it's just a general reading. The other thing to say is your love reading, an updated love reading, will be coming up very soon on the channel, and this will be spanning. I'll be recording those in June anyway. They'll be spanning uh, July up until the end of the year, so seeing what's coming in for you guys, love-wise. And yeah, I think that's that's it for what's coming up on the channel so far for Carol's Universe. So having said that, let's get into your reading, Leo. Just let you know about this reading. There's been some, uh, I've made some modifications on it, okay? Now, uh, it's your usual 11 card spread, two cards at the top to serve as your general energy. The card to the side, uh, which will be the bottom card, which will be the advice card stroke uh, overall theme for the month and the eight cards in the middle that will look at your general energies uh, your energy for the month your uh, people around you events situations that type of thing coming in and also at the end of the reading what I've now started doing is for each cluster of two cards of the eight I will add a clarification card the clarification card will simply serve to show the foundation of those two cards so the reason for it okay so it will just open up the reading. It might put a different spin on certain areas of the reading, but really this is just to open up the reading to a few more people. And if not, it adds a little bit more depth. Also, there's a clarification card added to the general energy, the two cards at the top, and sometimes if I feel it's needed, to the advice card. So the reason for the advice card, the reason for the general energy. Hope that, guys, that makes sense to you guys, and let's continue with your reading. Just going to meditate the universe spirit. Show me what's coming up for Leo. Show me Leo. Show me what's coming up for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the month of June 2016. Show me Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the month of June 2016. Show me Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. For the month of June 2016, Universe, I'm shuffling the cards. When I stop, I'm going to put the cards on the desk, separate the deck into three, the magic number of three, gather it back up, and I'd like you to show me the two cards off the top of the deck that will show the general energy for those born under Leo, so I'm in the rising signs. For the month of June 2016, the bottom card, which I hope you will show me, will serve what advice is for the Leo, so I'm in the rising signs for the month of June 2016, and the eight cards in the middle. That will show the situations, events, people, energies coming in for Leo in June 2016. At the end of the reading, I'm going to add clarifiers. I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot for the clarifiers this time round. Through the Witch's Tarot to clarify, can you show me the foundation of the reason for each cluster of two cards, and also the advice card if I need to do, uh, pull a clarifier for the advice using the Witch's Tarot. But for now, show me what's coming in with the Rider Waite Tarot deck. For Leo, all Sun, Moon and Rising signs in, 2000, in June 2016, show me. So I've meditated on the cards, Leo. I'm going to separate the deck into three. Collect it back up. I'm going to put down the two cards at the top. The advice card at the bottom and the eight cards in the middle. Right, we're done with those cards because I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot for your clarifiers. I just feel like doing that for some reason. We'll see how that works out. Right, 
I won't turn over the eight cards in the middle just yet, Leo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at your general advice and your uh, general energies and the advice card, and then I'll unfold two by two to see in, of the eight cards to see how the story unfolds. Well, I feel that in the month of uh, June, and it, it seems to be kind of a running theme for a lot of the signs I'm finding in the month of June, uh, Leo, that people are kind of finally going on this, they're finally kind of, uh, I don't know whether it's because we're now coming out of retrograde period, but uh, people are literally finding that there is a direction that they're wanting to take, and they're kind of embracing that. They're kind of at the uh, at this level where they... Are thinking of things quite in a very level-headed way, in a very kind of logical way, and they kind of understand that there are magnificent changes that perhaps they need to make. And I don't obviously I don't want to repeat readings, but you know we've got two cards showing here as the King of Cups as your general advice, and the Fool card. Now I deal very much into tarot interaction. Okay, so I'm not just a reader who focuses on what a meaning of a card is or uh, what my intuition tells me. Every reader reads differently, so we all read in our own unique ways. Okay, so, uh, you know, if, you, uh, if you've ever phoned up a tarot line, you'll get readers, usually they just go with the meanings of the card. So they'll see the star and say, oh, something really wonderful is coming in for you, or they'll see the two of cups, oh, a new relationship's coming in for you. Two of cups can damn well mean anything. It can mean a relationship is strengthening, but Two of Cups is one of the weakest cards in the tarot, unless you get it backed up with other things, okay? Unless you're in an established relationship and you're going on a short break from each other and you come back together. It can be a very weak card, because it can simply mean that you're going on a date and having a drink. Things like that, okay? So, I don't just rely on what I know of the cards uh, or my intuition. I also rely on something called tarot interaction, which is looking at the direction that cards are facing in. So, we've got... Uh, the King of Cups facing the Four. Now, as an energy, you know, you are not King of Cups, Leo. You usually be a King of Wands because you're a fire sign. King of Cups is notoriously water, so he would represent a Scorpio uh, individual, Cancer or Pisces, but usually uh, I believe this guy represents a Scorpio okay, individual. Now, when you get King of Cups, it usually means as an energy, because Kings, as I always say, are the epitome of a situation. They're where you reach a point in your life where you are certain of something and you're certain of, you know, what direction you need to go in. So the King of Pentacles, if you were to get that in a reading, along with something like the Page of Pentacles, it might be that you're looking to make a new purchase. And with the King of Pentacles, you might be certain that you need to make a new purchase. It sounds weird, but it's true. And with the Page of Pentacles, you might be looking at all the options of what you need to spend. You might be looking at what you've got, what you can afford, what you need to buy, the options of what you can afford, that type of thing. King of Cups is a card based in water, but with all of the kings, and I've, I, you know, I always say about the tarot, sometimes the tarot can be awfully sexist because it assumes in a way that if you're a king, you're more logical, you're more focused, uh, or you make your actions based in reason and logic, and queens tend to make their, uh, uh, make their decision based in how they feel. So it's more intuitive with a queen, and more kind of factually based with a king. So, you know, even though I find it a slightly, from what I've seen and studied of the tarot, a slightly more sexist kind of system, it doesn't really matter. Because the energy is with the King of Cups is that you are facing up to something in a very uh, kind of level-headed and a very mature way, Leo, in the month of uh, June 2016. And I feel that you know what you've got to do because you're facing the Fool. The Fool is a card about taking a risk. All right. The fall is a card about taking a risk. Now, you might be scared to take a risk because the King of Cups is also one of those cards where he is very good at hiding how he feels because he sits on a stormy sea, on stormy water, and he's got to just weather the storm. For some of you guys, it could be a father and a child because kings are, even though the kings can represent females or males, you just really got to be a Scorpio, Kings, as an archetype, obviously, are men. So there could be something to do with 
you know, asserting your power for some of you Leos over somebody who is younger or over somebody who is uh, more, uh, who is not as mature uh, in thought. It might be trying to give some good direction for some of you guys to a particular person because the fool doesn't really know where he's going. He just knows that he wants to go. He doesn't really, sometimes he's called the fool because the dog behind him is snapping at his heels and saying, you know, don't go in that direction because if you go in that direction, you're going to fall off a cliff. All right. But I feel that, you know, for some of you guys, you could be looking to go in a direction. Maybe the kick of cups is the person that's looking out for you. Maybe you have support in the direction that you're going in. Maybe, you know, there are other people who are saying to you, don't go in this particular direction, Leo. And for some of you guys, you might be saying, no, I'm going to do it. And maybe there's somebody else at the other end who's there waiting for you. For some of you guys, you might be traveling in the month of uh, June back to see someone that you know. For some of you guys, it could even be love, potentially. King of Cups is notoriously about love. He's about a very understanding, very sweet, very reliable partner. And the Fool card can be a new adventure that you go on. But I feel as an energy, this is you guys who are at the kind of top of your level-headedness, if that makes sense, Leo. You, you, you're aware, you're very self-aware. The King of Cups is about a, a card about self-awareness. All right, that's what he's about because usually as a, a job he would be a doctor or a healer or a counsellor or something like that and you know in order to do counselling a lot of the time you've got to be aware of even though I've met many a counsellor and they've not been very self-aware you're taught all of these things in terms of those types of professions how to get in touch with your feelings how to you know uh, how to work yourself out how to understand who you truly are and I feel for some of you guys you are at that point where you understand a situation okay some of you guys you might have to be I'm, I'm sensing here for some of you guys even though you're not the king of cups as a card as a court card the energy of this card is being quite assertive so asserting yourself but in a very mature fashion and it might be that you're coming up against someone who's less assertive but somebody who doesn't care and somebody who thinks that they know it all because when you look at tarot into action and you see two cards we've got a court card here and we've got a major arcana one. Now usually major arcanas take precedence over court cards because major arcanas have bigger energy, they're all about bigger things. The pit cards are about smaller things in life but the uh, majors tend to have a bigger effect on our lives, more long lasting. So for some of you guys it will be that you're looking to take a direction into something that you see uh, long lasting but with the full card you don't really know where you're going but you are quite self assured that this is the direction that you want to take. For some of you guys though it might be that you are having to assert your power maybe over somebody who's younger, somebody who thinks that they know it all because the fool can be a card of life, somebody who doesn't know it all. However they go on this journey and through the major arcana they gradually begin to realise actually I didn't know it all and I had a lot to learn. So it might be a case of a student-teacher type relationship for some of you guys in the month of June. And we do have as your advice card the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is an energy is overcoming negative thoughts, okay? Usually as an energy because uh, I've seen this card in a lot of readings and it showed up somebody who has given up. It can be a card of giving up on something. But it's also a card about winning overcoming something at the same time. Can you see how the cards are so multifaceted in their meanings? Because the guy that holds the sword and the two people are departing, the guy that holds the sword has overcome and the two people that are departing have given up. So they've let something or someone else win. So it can mean two things. You give up or you stay the course and you overcome. So if you are looking to take a new direction, you don't really know where it's going, but you're looking towards it, if you are the King of Cups and the Fool at the same time as an energy, it would suggest to me that you're looking to take a new direction in life and, you know, you don't really know where you're going but you're quite sure and you're quite strong enough and confident enough to do it. Therefore, with the Five of Swords, it would mean that you overcome your fears. If, however, this Fool is facing you and you are the one who is quite assertive about a situation and you're finding somebody who won't listen or somebody who's kind of... Uh, being the uh, antagonist in the month of June, if you, as it were. It could mean that you're in a battle of rules with someone in the month of June, Leo. We'll turn over the first two cards. 
Well, we have the Three of Wands here showing up first. And we've also got the Moon. Now, the Moon card is a very interesting card to me because uh, the Moon card can mean anxiety or it can mean confusion, or it can mean that you're seeking some form of light or enlightenment about something. But usually when I've seen this card, it can mean that somebody is in the throes of, uh, you know, sadness sometimes with this card. It can mean that you're confused by a situation. It can mean that something has not resolved itself as yet. You know, you need a clarify card with the moon a lot of the time to see exactly what it is. So you get something like the moon and the two of cups, it can mean that you're feeling you don't have all the answers about a relationship, maybe, because the moon is a card about secrecy. It's about things that have not yet been revealed. Okay, so you're kind of walking around in the darkness. All right, you're kind of searching. And I feel that you guys are somehow searching in the month of June for something, because we've got the Three of Wands preceding this, before this. When you get Three of Wands, usually it's a card that you're waiting for something to happen, potentially. It's waiting for developments. It can mean that you're needing to expand your horizons on something, Leah. And this must be you, because you're wands. So maybe it's you guys that are waiting for something. And maybe this thing is not developing as quickly as you would like. Because we do have that moon card there. Which is the card that says, I'm at that point where I feel that I'm at breaking point. Because something is not clear to me. And I'm kind of moving around in the darkness and trying to find what this thing is and how I get it and how I get there. Hence, probably that energy of the King of Cups and the Fool. When you get the Three of Wands, it's about certainty because you've already established something in the past and now you might be looking to develop it even more or you might be looking for your ships to come, on, come in. So you might have developed something to a certain point, but you might be needing help from others. So you might be trying to kind of expand your pool of talent but the moon card suggests, well, you haven't come to the end of the journey. You haven't come to the end of finding exactly what it is. Okay, so there might be some lack of clarity over something that you are looking for or looking towards, potentially, uh, Leo, in the month of June. It looks like you're looking towards something here, but the moon card to me suggests that something has not been found yet. Because when I see the moon, it, all, it conjures up to me, I've been a moon card, you know, where it just feels that everything is so, not so much bleak, but I'm trying to find clarity in the darkness of life. And when you get three of wands, it means that you're waiting a lot of the time. It's a waiting card. You get this a lot for people who are waiting. If you get two of cups with this card, it suggests that you might be waiting for a relationship, or you might, might be, or six of cups, you might be waiting for something to come back to you. You might be longing for it. So it's suggestive to me that you're longing for something and there is a sense of uh, a lack of clarity over this thing because it hasn't quite come in yet. And the general energy I feel in connection with those cards with the King of Cups and the Fool is that you are certain of something. You might be weathering the storm. You might be looking to take a leap of faith. You might be waiting for somebody to come back to you. But maybe this person is doing their own thing as in the Fool. The Five of Swords, for some of you guys, it might suggest that you've given up on something here. Because the King of Cups can also suppress how he truly feels. For some of you guys, you might have just given up on something. And it might be with the King of Cups that you have uh, accepted something. Because the King of Cups is a card about accepting a situation or accepting something in your life. And the Four card is a card of abandonment. Well, if this is the case, then maybe I just need to kind of step into my bliss and go in another direction, potentially. Let's have a look at the other two. Hmm. Pardon me if I go quiet, because I need to get my bearings and something here. We've got the Hierophant showing up here. Leo. Now, the Hierophant is, to me, a restrictive energy. It can be seeking higher guidance, and maybe some of you guys are seeking that higher guidance, seeking higher wisdom, speaking to others. Maybe for some of you guys, you're seeking some form of counselling this month, Leo, if that makes any sense. Because you might not be the King of Cups, the King of Cups might be somebody who can help you, as I said, and maybe you're the fool who's going out there. You're trying to look for something, you're on a journey. 
And maybe the King of Cups and the Hierophant to the same thing, because they can both be counsellors, they can both be people who provide wise wisdom, wise advice, potentially. And maybe this is because of the Three of Wands and the Moon, that you're looking for something or you're searching for something, but maybe you're not quite sure where you should be looking, uh, whether it's coming to you, and maybe you're just needing that bit of clarity, because the Hierophant says, we're not going to go along the line of, uh, restriction because I don't feel that in this reading this represents restriction for me if I was to have the Hierophant as a restrictive energy in a reading I would need maybe another negative card sitting alongside it to suggest it maybe something like the devil or something like that corrupt environment something that you find difficult to move out of but we do have the world sitting against the Hierophant now the world card is about learning a lesson so I do feel that you're learning lessons because the Hierophant is the teacher and the world card is the lesson so now the reading changes slightly because now we have the Five of Swords as the advice card and I feel that this is something about overcoming inner turmoil or inner fears or uh, something that has been kind of holding you back on a mental level. I feel there's something you are trying to overcome uh, in terms of the month of June, okay? Because I feel that more than you being the King of Cups, you are more the Fool now, all right? Seeking something and there are people there that are... Uh, people there who can provide you with wisdom because the first two cards when you look at the three of wands it can be so expansive that we just don't know whether it's going to come in or not we just don't know whether it's going to happen and the moon card says I'm feeling really anxious about this because I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting with the three of wands and nothing's happening and I'm feeling really anxious around this so maybe for some of you guys the hierophant suggests that you're seeking wisdom and maybe you learn something with the world card because the world card suggests that finally you get your answer. It's a card about an accomplishment or an achievement. For some of you guys, this might be education even because the Hierophant is a tutor or it's learning something and the world card says that you have achieved something through your learning, through your passage, through your path. So I do feel that there is an achievement made here in the month of June, uh, Leo, that suggests that you achieve something, you learn something here. And I feel that it will be very valuable to you because it will help you to overcome something with this Five of Swords. And that's two very beautiful more uh, cards have shown up here. We have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups means feeling very smug. It means feeling very smug, very self-satisfied. I feel that there are achievements coming in for you guys, okay? I feel that you've been waiting for something. It could be for some of you guys, maybe exams. Maybe you're waiting for some news. I, I just get a sense that you're waiting either uh, for some developments to occur in your life or you're waiting for news, maybe. Um, you're waiting to see the outcome of something here. I'm sensing a lot of you are waiting for an outcome, okay? Because it's going to put some doubts or fears to rest for you, all right? But I feel the Nine of Cups says that you achieve something here in the month of June. There's a wish that's being fulfilled, I feel. And we also have the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles can also mean that you receive something. You receive an award or you receive a payout or you receive uh, something. You receive a gift. It can be a card where you're being gifted something here. So as I always say with Tarot, you've got to look at the cards and what they're saying. You know, what does one card mean to the other? You know, if I were to have a devil, for example, be between uh, before that six of pentacles i wouldn't necessarily get a good feeling about those two cards together it could mean that devil you work hard and you get paid out with the six of pentacles yes but sometimes the six of pentacles means different things it can mean you're being played by someone it can mean that you have too many responsibilities you're having to give to too many people but here we have a very happy card Nine of, pen, nine of Cups, it suggests achievement, smugness, feeling self-satisfied, feeling really proud of yourself. And the Six of Pentacles, suggesting that you receive a reward. So you've made an achievement, and from that achievement you seem to receive an award, or a reward. And the final cards are the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. So, the Lovers can be a choice card. But it can also be a card about a very strong attraction. It can also be a card about trying to achieve some balance because it is number six. But we've got the two of wands guy, and this is you guys here, Leo, walking towards the lovers. For some of you guys, you might want to offer something to someone or you might want to offer someone the world. 
For some of you guys, you might be taking a new journey, so you might be entering into a new relationship. You might be ready to take action because the wands are about the readiness, the intention to do something. And the lovers is the card of togetherness. Very strong emotional ties. You might be searching for love in the month of June, for example. Because the guy on the Two of Wands, he's on a journey, he's searching for something. And the lovers can mean a relationship, searching for your soulmate. So for some of you guys, you might be searching for a soulmate, potentially. For some of you guys, it might be a relationship that you enter into in the month of June. Because the King of Cups can often be seen as a very romantic card, a romantic partner. And the Fool card says... I'm taking a leap of faith into something, or I even I'm searching for something. So some of you guys might be searching for your perfect partner. Okay? Maybe there are, I feel that this card is more, Leo, in association with your fears more than anything else. We're going to open up this reading. Also with the lover's card, it can mean a choice. So the two of wands can also mean two directions. So maybe you have a choice to go in two directions. And maybe with this, two, this five of wands, you need to overcome some doubt or fears in terms of what direction you're going to be going in. But we're going to have a look and see if we can open up this reading a little bit. We're using Witch's Tarot instead now for the clarification. Remember, the clarification cards I use as the foundation or the reason for the actual first two cards. So one just fell out over the King of Cups and the Hanged Man. Now, the Hanged Man uh, would suggest as a foundation the reason for the King of Cups and the Fool. I feel that you have been probably up in the air a little bit too much. I feel that you might have even been holding on to something. Uh, it could be also a card about sacrifices. So maybe you guys are having to sacrifice something in the month of June. All right, in order to follow your bliss. And maybe you're certain of this is the King of Cups. Maybe you have made an admission to yourself and you've accepted, because both cards are Hanged Man and the King of Cups both reference accepting a limitation. The King of Cups is limited by the sea, but yet still he masters his emotions, he's level-headed about it, he's brave, he's strong, he's very controlled about something here. And he looks over at the fool. Now, as I said, the fool can be somebody maybe that you're in some sort of juxtaposition with. But it can also be where, for some of you guys, as an energy of the King of Cups, you have mastered a certain emotion over something, or you're trying to. And you're looking to step maybe into something new, because maybe something isn't working for you. Because if the hand man is the reason... The hand one would suggest that maybe you are looking to make some major adjustments. And if you're made looking to make major adjustments within your life, then you're already certain that something isn't working. Therefore, the adjustment means that something has to change. And the full card is a card about change because it's a change in terms of walking into a new reality. So I feel here that you are, uh, you've come to a point where you recognise maybe the limitation of something in your life and that some major adjustments potentially are need to be made. And that's why the King of Cups, remember Cups, water, can be passive behaviour. So we can, with Cups, we can sort of stand still in time and kind of put up with something and remain very kind of emotionally cool and controlled. But the Fool card doesn't settle for less. He's more like a fire energy because he just wants to move forward. So I'm sensing here that there are major adjustments or some adjustments in how you feel now, the reason for this King of Cups and the Fool is that there are some adjustments needing to be made here. Okay? Maybe for some of you guys also, the Hanged Man can mean that it's a stuck situation. Okay? There's something that you can't do about something at the minute. And maybe with the King of Cups, it could be somebody that you're just having to put up with. Hence the Five of Swords is a general energy. Alright, maybe it's telling you, as a general advice, sorry, that you need to fight your corner with someone and you need to stand up for what you believe is right because you are more, uh, you are the person who is more kind of um, mature or more knowledgeable. It could be a co-worker, it could be a new co-worker who's testing you to the limit because the hangman can be a card about a test. Some of you guys might be going through a testing time with someone with that King of Cups in the fall because the King of Cups puts up with stuff. 
But the fool will keep pushing and pushing and pushing because he doesn't really know where to stop because he's a baby. So he doesn't have the emotional or the logical maturity to know when to stop at a certain point. He just keeps moving because he's not at that mature level. He only reaches maturity when he actually goes on the journey through the major arcana and realises that sometimes behaviours or certain types of behaviours actually do have consequences. So it could be in the month of June that this Five of Swords advice is that your actions will have consequences potentially if you are the fool and you're pushing the envelope with someone. Let's have a look at what the uh, foundation card is for Three of Wands and the Moon. What is the reason for the Three of Wands and the Moon, please, Universe? What's the underlying reason for the Three of Wands and the Moon? Well, the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is when you work on something and you're waiting for a development to happen. I do feel a sense of waiting here. And I feel that it's exhausting with the Moon card, potentially. Okay? Because the way you get Three of Pentacles, it means that you have already laid the plans. And we can see that plans or things have already been in development. Things have already been set in motion with that Three of Wands. And now you're just waiting for things to come back to you. So as I say with these readings now, because I pull clarification cards, they can open things up. They can change things in certain direction. It doesn't mean that the first reading I did was uh, not what I believe. It will apply to some of you, the whole of it. Some of you, it won't. But with the clarification card, it might open it up in a different direction. Okay? So the Three of Pentacles seems to be something that you've been working on. You've laid the plans. You've laid the foundations. And now you're waiting for something to develop from that. Okay? You're waiting for an outcome. And this would make sense to me with this Three of Wands and the Moon card. Because if you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting for an outcome, sometimes you believe it's not going to come. So maybe the advice card is that you need to overcome your doubts or find a way to overcome the doubts that this thing will not come. Because the moon card doesn't suggest to me that it comes. The moon card suggests to me that you're still stuck in limbo. And hence the hand man with the general energy. This is a card about also being stuck in limbo. It's about something that's put on hold. And maybe with the king of cups you're needing to be quite strong around this. You're looking towards the fool, a new path that you need to tread. But maybe the foundation with this hand money saying things are at the moment put on hold. So even though you're certain of a certain direction you want to take, maybe things are just not happening or opening up as quickly as you would like. What is the foundation for the Hierophant? 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 Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's interesting. So, just going back to this general energy, I just thought to myself, if the reason for this King of Cups and the Fall is that you are in limbo over something, then with the King of Cups, you're going to need to feel a sense of, as I've said, control, inner control, outer control, maturity. You're going to need to look at things in a very mature and level headed way and maybe with this full card and you're looking towards the full it would suggest that something just isn't developed enough to move forward with it potentially because the full card is not a developed card as far as I'm concerned yes the full suggests a new journey it suggests stepping into your bliss stepping into something new maybe something that's untried and untested but it would suggest to me that maybe if you're in limbo about something with the hand man, then you're being very mature and very savvy about the way that you're actually looking about at this new path that you want to take. Okay? You're looking at this new thing and you're being very, very mature about it, I feel, Leo, in the month of June. The Hierophant and the world now, the reason for this is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is confidence. So I feel for some of you guys, you need to feel confident about something. You need to be have that sense of uh, self-assurity, because that's what the Queen of Wands is. The Queen of Wands is a card about leadership. She's a leader. She's a queen, after all. Okay, But she's more to do with the energy of, you know, I'm going in this direction. I'm certain of it. I'm confident enough to do it. She busies herself. 
but it's more the energy of it, if that makes sense, because she's based in water and intuition rather than action and, you know, logic, if that makes any sense. So I feel that, you know, for some of you guys, Leo, and this would be you, because you are a Queen of Wands as well. Queen of Wands can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this is you guys here. I feel this is something about your own confidence, your own leadership skills, your own sense of moving forward. And I feel that there are lessons that you need to learn. There's something that you need to learn about this direction that you are taking. And maybe what this is why something isn't opening up as quickly as you would like. But I feel that something actually comes in that puts your mind to rest, because the Five of Swords can also be a card about putting one's mind to rest. Those two guys are the negative side. That's what's being defeated, okay? If you wanted to look at this card in a positive light. The fact that the two guys have put down their swords, this is the, remember the swords are a very active energy. When you look at swords and wands, uh, uh, air and uh, uh, fire signs, they're active energy. It would usually be your pentacles and water that would be the passive energy. So sometimes when you get this card, it's about too much going on in the mind, too much self-defeating thoughts going on in the mind. And I feel that the reason, yes, for the Hierophant in the world, lessons learnt with the world card, is you, the Queen of Wands. I feel that you're savvy enough, okay? You're confident enough as an individual to look at something for what it is and perhaps not to make the same mistakes. Maybe uh, with all of this reading, what's happening here is that, yes, there is something in development and, yes, it seems that you're waiting for it, but it seems that, you know, you're at a point of feeling quite anxious around the situation because I don't feel that it's fully developed. I feel that you are trying to look at it in a more positive and mature light because we have the hanged man here as the reason for the king of cups and the fool. Something is in limbo. And the king of cups as a very mature energy looks over at the fool as a very immature energy and says this thing looks good but is it worth taking the risk on it now if I were to look at it in a very level-headed way? The Queen of Wands, which is you guys, this is about you and your leadership skills and your creative skill and your skills to kind of multitask and to kind of be very confident and very ambitious and very outgoing. But I feel that you need to seek higher guidance about something and you need to learn a lesson about something that is going to serve you with the World Card. Because the world card says you've come to the end of a journey and you've learnt a very, very valuable lesson. So this isn't about just charging for something. This is about looking at the greater scheme of the actual situation. And knowing that sometimes if things aren't happening, they're not happening for a very, very good reason. The Eight of Pentacles shows up as the reason for the Nine of Cups and the Six of, uh, the six of Pentacles. It seems here there is now an achievement made in the month of June. I feel that the Eight of Pentacles is saying that this is something new that's opening up, and I feel that it's in real time. So this isn't about a new realisation, because we have the happiness of the Cups and the realisation of those Pentacles. So it's almost like you're feeling quite smug with an achievement that you've made. And that's the reason for this is because of the Ace of Pentacles. I believe that there is finally something that comes in now. You have been waiting for something to open up to you. But I feel that you've had to kind of just go through the process, accept what is, is, and that's it. And it's funny because as soon as you start to let something go, Leo, that's when things start to open up to you. It's amazing. When you start to let go of what it is that you want most truly, this is why you find so many people, Leo, you know, that say, this isn't happening for me, and why isn't this happening for me, and, you know, this is taking so long, and I've had enough, and all this stuff. But as soon as they let go of the need, moon, that anxiety, that, uh, that gnawing feeling, Leo, the very thing that they were looking for suddenly comes in. It's an incredible thing, but it's true. I'm a great believer in something called the Law of Attraction, Leo. And what the Law of Attraction tells us is that you might be looking to attract something into your world, but are you truly aligned with it? 
when you're never really truly aligned with anything that you're feeling anxious around or you're feeling worried about. You're never truly aligned with it, and that's why it doesn't come. It doesn't come because you're consistently thinking about it, which means that if you're consistently thinking about this thing, then you're recognising the lack of it. And if you're recognising the lack of something in your life, then how can you expect it to come in when you're not on that vibration that says, I'm actually okay and I'm easy with it. So if it comes in, it comes in. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And you usually find that when you're most not looking, that's when it comes in. That's why so many people who don't have relationships and they're continuously worried about, I don't have a relationship. When is a relationship coming in? When's it going to happen for me? And it doesn't happen because they're continuously thinking about it. It's not a bad thing. We all want love. We all want relationships. We all worry about whether we're going to have a relationship or not. But you soon find that when you let go of the very thing that you want, when you stop holding onto it in such a negative space, and you just open it out to the universe, suddenly it comes in. And here we find it comes in. Because I believe with the Queen of Wands, you have that self-belief, that self-assurity that it will do. Because you have learned something from the Hierophant, and it kind of closes off the cycle with the World Card. So this cycle of the merry-go-round, is it going to happen or isn't? I'm sick of it. I'm waiting for it. It's not happening. I'm in limbo over it. Suddenly, the Queen of Wands appears as the reason, and that's you for the Hierophant in the world, learning a lesson. So you come to a halt, and the worrying seems to stop. And there you find, with the Ace of Pentacles as being the reason for the Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, that what it was that you very most wanted is now achieved. So, for example, a job. Well... The Nine of Cups is achievement, feeling smug, feeling that you've really kind of got something here. You're feeling good about it. And the Six of Pentacles, it's the reward. So something comes in here. You feel really good about it. And I feel that this is because of your ability to kind of put it to one side in the month of June. And let's have a look at the final cards. The Knight of Pentacles is the reason for this. The Knight of Pentacles can mean that suddenly something comes in, it's secure, it's stable, you finally reach a goal because the Knight of Pentacles is about reaching goals. Okay? But the Knight of, Pen the, the Knight of Pentacles is safe, it's secure, but it's also a card of long term plans. So I feel that, you know, if you've been making long term plans, Finally, you find a gateway. Now, I see this lover's card as being the gateway is opening to you. Because if you look at the lovers, you see a gate or a, a gap between these two people here. It's almost like they, they act as posts to an, you know, a gateway opening up to you. And if we see this guy here... Can you see those two cards together? He faces the lovers. It's almost like he's ready to walk into the walls of heaven or the gates of heaven. So I feel that something that has been a long time coming with that Knight of Pentacles, the long-term goal, has finally arrived. And you're able to walk through those gates of heaven because we have an angel that is blessing the lovers. It's blessing a pathway, a gateway. When you get a lover's card, it's about making a choice on which path to take because you know which path you take with the lover's card is going to lead to some form of completion because it is the card of balance and harmony creating that even keel and i believe with the knight of pentacles something arrives it's sturdy it's secure you reach that point you reach that gateway and you're able now to walk through it you finally find the direction that you need to go in and you're walking through it knight of pentacles can be news that finally arrives after a long time because he's the doddering knight. It's not quick news, it's slow news, it's slow action. That's what the Knight of Pentacles mean. But it means that it needed to be that process because things needed to be put into order. It's not a Knight of Swords or a Knight of Wands. It's not a wham, bam, thank you, man type thing. It's where things needed to go through a certain channel because it needed to be there at the right time for you. 
Therefore, I feel the Five of Swords for a lot of you guys is achieving victory after doubt. Very interesting reading, Leo. I know my readings are very long, but sometimes they're long because I need to get something out there. I just need to explain what I feel I see in the cards. We'll quickly do a recuperation, a, re uh, a recap, sorry, off the uh, cards. I feel that, yes, there is a sense of being stuck in limbo, maybe even going on from now. You're going to need to be emotionally mature about it because with the full card it might suggest that you're looking at this thing uh, but it might not be emotionally ready or just ready for you to do at the right at right at this moment because the full card is a card about going on that journey but it's the start it's zero it's the start of something it's not yet finalized or it's not yet matured so for some of you guys it might be some form of problem with somebody else potentially Maybe there's a sticking point with the handman, but as an energy card, I feel that, you know, something is in limbo. There are adjustments that need to be made, but I just feel it's the not yet moment with those two cards, and you're needing to kind of weather the storm. You know that change is coming to you, but it needs time to kind of be right for you to take it. I feel with the Three of Wands and the Moon card and the Three of Pentacles, it might be something you've been working on. It might be some plans that you've laid that you're waiting for some form of development over. We see that you're waiting for answers with the Three of Wands and you're not getting them with the Moon. But I do feel, as the Queen of Wands being the reason, the foundation of this Hierophant in the world, okay? Could be something work-related, Queen of Wands can be work-related, but this is more you guys. And I feel that this is you being in having the uh, courage of your convictions and the courage of your self-beliefs to know that with the Hierophant you are taught, you tap into that inner higher wisdom. It can be from other people, it can even be from yourself, but you open something out. And I feel with the world card, it brings in a sense of peace and completion, because it seems that you've learnt something here. So therefore, with those three three sets of cards, just to start with, I feel that it's almost like you, uh, you let go. I feel that you let go. You just kind of let go of the fear of this thing not coming in or arriving. And I feel that in June, what happens is, because you let go, Leo, suddenly things start to open up to you. Because we have the smug card, Nine of Cups. So it's feeling happy, it's feeling that you've made a real achievement. And from that achievement, you're receiving rewards with the Six of, uh, the six of uh, Pentacles. And that the reason for this is the Ace of Pentacles, because it's something that is offered to you. Usually when you get the uh, Rider Waite, the Ace of Pentacles is on a hand. So it's usually a gift. It's something that's been offered to you. It can be a new job. It can be uh, the signing of a new contract financial investment, can even be a new home, but something definitely opens up to you. You receive a reward, assistance, even an award. And finally, the lovers, the gateway, the gateway to heaven, I feel, the gateway to the Garden of Eden. We see that you're walking through to it because you have the world in your hands with that two of wands. And that's because the Knight of Pentacles, something that was very slow moving and took its time to arrive has finally arrived for you. It's finally there, it's finally right in your eye line, and you're taking that opportunity to move forward. Hence, the Five of Swords in the advice. Whatever the fears were of the King of Cups, the Fool and the Hangman, and the Three of Wands, the Moon, and the Three of Pentacles, have dissipated. Because you stood in your confidence, you had such a strong inner belief in your own skills, your own talents, that things were going to pull through for you. We see that you achieve this in real time and it gives you the ability to walk down a path that you may have desired for a very long time and that seems to be very much a reality in the month of June. That is your reading, Leo, for the month of June 2016. I would like to say thank you very, very much for using Carol's Universe and I will speak with you guys soon. Take care.